Hey everybody, it's me Sergio with Mobility Direct. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to test the batteries on your GoGo Mobility Scooter. If your Mobility Scooter is not powering on or if it's just losing power really quickly, then you're going to want to test it out to see if you need new batteries. Now before we get started, I do need to tell you about our free product catalog. It has all of our latest products, discount codes, and a ton of information about our company. So if you want a copy, just go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out a simple short form that's going to ask for your address, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. You could also call the number below, speak with one of our non-commissioned sales experts, give them your address by phone, and they'll process the request for you. Keep in mind, we're not just an online store. We have brick and mortar locations. So come on by if your scooter's not working and you need repairs. We offer repairs, sales, and rentals, and we'd love to earn your business, folks. So let's go ahead and dive right into things. In order to test your batteries at home, you are going to need something called a voltmeter or a multimeter, which is what I have. Now, really, all we're going to use this for is to test the voltage on your scooter to see if the voltage is high enough to provide your scooter with the power it needs to perform optimally. Now, if you don't know how to use one of these, it's pretty easy. Let me give you a quick little breakdown. On your voltage meter, you should have a little V, which stands for voltage, with two lines. One of them is a dotted line and one of them is a solid line above the V. You're going to want to go ahead and go to that section and put the dial at 200, which is going to max out at 200 volts. And that's fine because scooters normally operate at 24 volts. Now you've got your probes, your positive and your negative probe, which you can plug into your charging port to get a readout on your battery voltage. And that's what we're going to do. Now your scooter may have a detachable battery pack. It may not. Your scooter might have lead acid batteries or lithium. Either way, this is going to work. So take your positive and your negative probe, find your charging port. This scooter has two charging ports. It has one here and it has one on the removable battery pack as well. Now, just to keep it easy, I'm going to use the charging port up high. Take your positive and your negative probe and you're going to want to plug one into the left and one into the right or vice versa. It doesn't matter. Basically, you can plug them in as many which ways as you want until you get a reading on your voltage meter display. Now, I usually just go one on the right, one on the left. And there's your readout. You've got 25.4 volts, which is good. Now, let's talk about your initial findings. If it's under 24 volts, your batteries are either dead and they need to be charged or they're just not able to hold a charge. And that happens a lot. A lot of customers come in, they say, hey, I charged my scooter all night. I go to use it in the morning and I just go to the mailbox and it dies. So that usually will mean that the batteries are just old and need to be replaced because they can't hold a charge for a very long time. And that's what happens over time with any batteries. The older they are, the ability for them to hold a charge for a long period of time starts to rapidly degrade over time. And usually with lead acid batteries, that time frame, that window is about two years, and then you need to replace your batteries. When you first get a scooter, let's say its manufacturer rating is 10 miles on a full charge. After year one, you may only get six miles on a full charge. After two years, you may only get three or two miles. The longer you go, it might not even make it to the mailbox and back, right? So just have the expectation that your batteries are going to slowly perform worse and worse over time. And after that two year mark, if they're the heavy lead acid batteries, you're going to need to replace them. Lithium batteries are more expensive. They're a lot lighter and they last three to five years. In most cases, if you take care of them, sometimes even longer. But for the sake of testing them to see if they're good or not, this process can be followed, whether it's lithium batteries or lead acid batteries. 99% of scooters work on a 24 volt system. Okay, so that means it needs a minimum of 24 volts to perform optimally. So as you can see, these batteries are charged up adequately at 25.4 volts. What you want to do next is test the voltage readout while moving and while sitting on the scooter, which is what I call a load test. It's a very crude way to do it. Yes, you can do a very professional load test with a machine, but this works just as fine. I've been a technician for over 11 years, and this method has, has never failed me. So what you want to do is basically just have your voltage meter and start moving the scooter. 
Really quick folks, I just want to take this time to say thank you so much for watching our videos and supporting the channel. It helps us grow the channel tremendously. I also want to tell you that we are giving back to the disabled community all the time by giving away mobility scooters and electric wheelchairs to people in need. Part of every sale goes towards funding that giveaway donation program. We actually document a lot of these giveaway events and put it on our YouTube channel. We show up with a brand new mobility scooter and we donate it to someone in need that can't afford a mobility device. A lot of these folks are homeless or they're just struggling to get around with a walker or a cane or an old beat up wheelchair and we change their lives. So if you wanna be a part of that movement, consider shopping with us at Mobility Direct. You're not just gonna get tax-free sales, free shipping, the best prices, and the best service in town. You're also contributing towards that next giveaway movement. Together, we can make a difference, folks. One mobility device at a time. Let's get back to the video. So here we go, I got the voltage meter, and I'm gonna start moving the scooter. You wanna be seated on the scooter. It needs to have weight on it. Preferably, you wanna be on a flat surface. And as you start to go, you want to monitor how far down that voltage is dropping. It should not drop below 24 volts. It might do it for a second as you're starting to get going. But once you're on a smooth roll and you're moving, it should stay above 24 volts. The newer your batteries are, the less it's going to drop. Now, let's see. So turn the scooter on and let's see. We're going to do a load test here. and We're going to do a donut around the shop here. All right. So we're at 25.4. I'm going to turn the speed down a little bit. We're at 25.4 standstill. And as we're going, we're at 24.8. Now, you don't need to do this at a full speed. You can do it at a medium speed. That's fine. And the fact that it's not dropping below 24 volts tells me that these batteries are in great shape. I would say these are pretty close to being new batteries. At a standstill, we have 25.1. So it actually did lose a little bit of a charge and it seems like it's crawling back up. They might not be brand new batteries. My guess, these batteries are about three to six months old. Now, if they were brand, brand new, you would see that the voltage at a standstill is, let's say, 25.2, like it is now. After doing a little load test, you might see that they're still at 25.2 when you're done. But it did drop a tick or two, and it's to me, that shows that it's losing its charge very minimally and that these batteries are not brand new out of the box. Now, it's really important that you charge your batteries regularly to get the longest life out of them. Keep that in mind, folks. Never leave your batteries storing without being charged for more than a few weeks. That could damage the lifespan of your batteries very quickly. Now, let's say you're doing this load test and you're getting a different readout. If at a standstill, your batteries were showing, say, for example, 25 volts, and once you start doing the load test, it drops down to 23.5 or below 24, that could mean that your batteries need to be replaced sooner than later. If you're noticing that when you go on a short distance ride, your batteries die rapidly, that definitely means you need to replace your batteries soon. You could also open up your battery box, expose the batteries, check the terminals for any corrosion, uh, rust and oxidation, that could lead to poor battery performance as well. You can clean them up and see how it does. But usually at that point, I would recommend changing the batteries. You want to keep your battery box completely dry. Try to avoid going in really moist, humid areas and getting water around the battery case. Batteries just don't like water or moisture. All right, so as you can see, I'm now on a different scooter, and this is called the iGo by Pride Mobility. It's another GoGo, -Go, and it has lithium batteries. If you have a GoGo -Go Endurance, an iGo, or a Super Portable, these all have lithium batteries, and the voltage readout's gonna be much higher. You can always check the specifications in your user manual to see what the voltage is for your batteries, but I'm gonna tell you for the lithium batteries, most of the time it's gonna be closer to 29 volts at a full charge. So I've plugged in the positive and the negative probe on the charging port down here, which is where the charging port on this model is. Doesn't matter where it is, just plug your negative and your positive in and you're gonna get a readout. In this case, it's 28.6 volts. Now I can tell you, we've had this scooter on the floor for a little while now and it should hold a charge pretty well, but I wouldn't be surprised if it drops, you know, because it's not a brand new battery. We're gonna test it under load the same way we just did to see how it performs. I'm gonna turn the speed down a little bit 
and I'm going to show you while we go under load how far it drops down from 28.6 at a resting position. All right, so we're at 28.6 at a standstill. I'm going to start to do a little donut. And with lithium batteries, you typically get much better performance. So it's going down barely any at all. So these batteries are actually in really good shape. 28.0, oh, 28.3 while cruising. And back to 28.6 at a standstill. So the fact that it barely dropped at all after doing the load test, doing a donut around the shop and while moving tells me that these batteries are in great shape. If they start dropping significantly while you're under load, like by a whole voltage point or two, that's bad news. That means your batteries cannot hold a charge while under load. And if you notice that they're not really lasting that long, like let's say you go up and down the street to your mailbox and back and you lose half your charge after charging it all night, that's a clear tall tale sign that your batteries are old, they need to be replaced. Whether it's lithium or sealed lead acid, that's usually the case 99% of the time. So if you need to replace your batteries, we have tutorial videos. It's pretty straightforward. If it's a lithium battery, most of the time you just need to buy a new battery and it connects to your scooter. Uh, on the older models with the sealed lead acid batteries, you're gonna have a battery box that you need to crack open. Usually you'll just take out eight or 10 screws from the bottom of the battery container, open it up and you're gonna find two 12 volt batteries in there, which if you're handy, you know your way around some common tools like a screwdriver, a wrench, you should be able to replace them on your own, no problem. If you have doubts and you're not comfortable using a voltage meter, come on by to our store or your local dealer. Have them test your batteries for you. All dealers that are certified dealers for Pride or Golden Technologies or any major brands should have a technician on site that can test your batteries for you. And we sell OEM batteries, OEM chargers, which by the way, we have a video showing you how to troubleshoot and diagnose your charger, which could be an issue altogether. If you have brand new batteries and you're charging it overnight and you're not getting the performance, your charger might be bad. I will put the link to our diagnosing your charger video at the top right hand corner and in the description below. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll personally respond within one business day. Again, my name is Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. I hope you learned something today. Until next time, have a great day.